Okay, uh, I'd like to welcome Greg, Greg Sheen to our um, Experts Insights video. Um, hi, Greg. Hi, Matt. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for coming along. You're welcome. Um, Let's come far. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, so um, it'd be great if you could just um, give us a quick introduction to, to Rightway. Um, obviously, you're one of the most well-known um, accounting brands in New Zealand and, and, and now Australia. But if you could give people a bit of background, that would be great. Yeah, cool. I, I mean, um, yeah, so I guess our claim to fame, and everybody needs one of those, um, our claim to fame is we're now um, Zero's fastest growing partner globally, uh, which is which is pretty cool. And, and uh, we kicked off uh, Rightway uh, just under five years ago uh, with four of us, and we are just about to click over the 100 uh, head count, so you know that's that, that, that's why I've got bags under my eyes. Uh, we've 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 worked you know worked pretty crazy for the last few years, and so I guess now you know we um, with those hundred odd, odd odd staff, we are scattered around New Zealand. We literally go from Northland to Southland, um, covering about ten different regions, and we're now uh, in the early stages of getting established in Australia. We've been there just over twelve months, uh, and we've got about seven people there uh, now. So yeah, fantastic. Um, so I wanted to talk to, to about today was was brand really, and I think um, I mean for me you've got one of the most recognisable and strongest brands in in accounting um, in New Zealand. How important do you think branding is to an accounting firm? Well, I guess it, I guess it, I mean, it's a great question. Um, it really does come down to you know what uh, the accounting firm is trying to achieve. Um, most accounting firms uh, in 2016 are wanting to try and at least retain customers and ideally to, to grow. And, you know, so therefore the brand and the importance of a brand is a massive part of that. Mm -hmm. um, interestingly, I suppose, we are um, in the accounting profession, we are in this trusted uh, advisory relationship. Um, we are also operating in the world of B2B. Um, and, and typically in, in B2B uh, circles, Brand is perhaps less of an issue uh, than than the sales side um, because when you're selling B two B, it's typically a sales led mm -hmm. um, you know, process. Having said that, brand is just super important, and um, and so yeah, I, th I think it really largely depends on you know what people are trying to achieve. Um, the, the the key thing there is just really understanding what type of customers uh, mm -hmm. are they after. Uh, and then building a brand around that. Uh, you know, for example, if they if they are after you know early stage uh, high growth companies, um, you know, then they need a brand that kind of appeals to those sort of companies. Maybe maybe the the owners of the accounting firm need to you know grow a top knot and um, and, and a beard and uh, and hang out in, in cool cool circles. You know, but if if that's not their market, then you know, getting a brand that's appropriate for for the type of customers they're after is important. Yeah, right. So you're not going to be growing a top knot. I'm going to struggle. Uh, <laughs> if I do grow one, I think it's going to be fairly small. <laughs> Either that or I might just glue one on. <laughs> um, so um, a lot of people think that a brand is just a logo, um, but, but I think there's a lot more to a brand than that. Um, so apart from the visual identity, what yep. makes up the right way brand? Yeah, well, I, think, I think your point about you know, people do think that brands are logos. I mean, I couldn't... Um, you know, I couldn't agree with you more that that's just an incorrect statement, right? You know, they, at the end of the day, a brand is what people think of you. Yeah. Um, and, and your logo um, or, or the creative expression of your logo and the artwork that you use is, is one way to get that message across because a, a picture can tell a thousand words. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, it's what people think of you. And, and so your brand is really, you know, the critical part of your brand is how your people uh, interact with customers. Mm -hmm. Um, how that builds perception in the marketplace, uh, the way you provide services to your customers, how responsive you are, uh, the way you price, you know, are you seen as a real kind of premium end, uh, you know, are you, are you really low cost? So there's a whole ton of things that come into a brand. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for us, our, our brand representation is all designed to be around aspirational uh, Kiwi and Australian small businesses who are who are trying to you know, get ahead and make a better living for for themselves and their families, and uh, and and that's what we want our brand to stand for. Yeah, great. Um, final question then. So, when you're creating the brand, and and I think you maybe touched on this a, a little bit, is um for a lot of um, firms, a lot of businesses, the starting point for creating the brand would be to go and see a design or a creative agency um, and get them to create it. 
do you think that's right or do you think the starting place of your brand has to come from within your firm? Look, I, I think it really, your brand is about, is about your people. So fundamentally, it has to come from the firm first. Mm -hmm. um, it really does come from a sense of, you know, what are your brand values? And your brand values largely come from your, you know, your company uh, values and your mission and vision. What are you trying to achieve? I mean, here at, at Rightway, uh, we've got a pretty, you know, pretty hairy, pretty large vision, which is to change the world one small business at a time. Mm -hmm. And then we've kind of we've got a whole bunch of, of values that we that we use internally. And so I think what you want to do is kind of look at your own firm and say, what do you stand for? You know, what what is it that you represent? And how do you want that message to be conveyed across to your customers? And I, you know, I was interested um, to see something come through yesterday where I saw an accounting firm was marketing themselves as being accountants, which is cool because that's what we all are, but with the added value of having uh, custom-made offices. You know, that kind of thing is, is nonsense. I mean, people don't care what your offices look like. No. Um, it's got to be about it's got to be about the customer. And so, you know, really understanding, you know, what's your, what's your value proposition, what values are you trying to represent in the brand. And once you've really got a good understanding of that, then by all means, sit down with an agency mm -hmm. and, work on, and work on the creative. Um, uh, but, you know, I think what can happen often is accountants go, you know what, we need a new look and we need a new image, so let's go to an agency and design us one. And if that's all you want to do, then cool, but it's going to be hard for your brand to represent um, beyond just the creative if you do that. Yeah, right. So to wrap it up, I guess what you're saying is flip the normal process on its head, is that actually the, the agency, the logo part of it, is just the end of a process. You, you've got to have created that thing internally, and then that will actually probably suggest what your brand should be at, at the end of that process. I, I, I think so. I, I, I think that's exactly right, Matt. And I think it just it really depends on the quality of the agency providing you the work. If they are just a small agency that is just doing some work around the creative mm -hmm. and the design, then yes, do, do all the homework first and kind of get your thinking going before you start briefing a designer. Uh, there are some agencies out there that will allow you to, you know, they'll work with you to kind of tease that stuff out, but uh, they're kind of few and far between. Yeah. So you may be lucky enough to find an agency that does that, but, but generally, yeah, think it all through first and then go and brief the, brief the agent. Yeah, great. Yeah. Hey, Greg, that's fantastic. Really appreciate that. And um, thanks for sharing with us. You're very welcome. Have a great day. Cheers. Okay. Take care, Matt. Awesome. Thanks.